Dan, people all over Kettle Land have their work cut out for them after the first round of flooding. If you have cleaning to do, you're going to want to make sure that you're doing it safely. In tonight's Health Beat, Kettle Land's Kelly Volk shows you how you can protect yourself as you get started on flood recovery. The streets in Eve Doima's neighborhood are finally dry, a big difference from what the area looked like days ago. About four feet of water seeped into the Sioux Falls woman's home. I had things in plastic containers thinking, you know, if we got a little water, they would just be okay. It raised them up, swooped them around, tipped them over. Everything in every bucket is dumped. By the look of her basement today, there's plenty of work to do. If you have some post-flood cleaning of your own to do, there are some things you should keep in mind. Number one, take care of yourself. Cleaning up flood um, damage debris is really stressful, so don't overexert. Make sure that you're taking, you know, lots of breaks. Stay hydrated. And remember, flood water can carry bacteria and viruses, so you need to protect your body. If you're um, in flood waters and are around water, you should be in rubber boots. You should be wearing rubber gloves. If you need eye protection for splashing, you know, make sure you can put barriers between you and, the, and that flood water. Here's something else to keep in mind as you're sorting through items in your house. If it can't be washed and disinfected, get rid of it. Things like drywall, carpets, um, furniture, um, stuffed toys that, you, that are too big for you to wash, pillows. All things Doima will have to take into consideration as she digs into what the flood left behind. It just, it's a mess. It's a total disaster. With Health Beat, I'm Kelly Volk. There are plenty of other tips too, like using a dehumidifier and keeping kids and pets away from the flood water. For a full list of safety tips, click on this story at kelloland.com. Now, for a look at our